Mic check. I feel like you were pretty good uh, for me, uh, especially some of the new guys that we had at D-line. Um, you had Jamario Bell coming back from basketball, and then you also had um, Chase Harrell, who just converted over the D-line over the break. Um, I feel like he did good, a good job as well. Word is that you helped yourself during all the tryouts and camps and stuff. How, yes, what was your attitude? How, what, what do you think you did? I'm taking it one day at a time. Um, it was a lot of days in between those. So if you got caught up on the end goal, you would kind of be left out. Um, it was. It had to start with training in the East-West. Um, I couldn't focus on trying to get a senior bowl invite or try to focus on the combine and pro day because it wasn't there yet. So I just took it one day at a time. You took a lot of pride in the fact that you were on those winning teams. Yes, sir. In those games. So how do you feel like that helps? Uh, it helps your. Um, helps you with NFL games that you know you're not associated with losing. Um, you're going to be associated with your team, and I, I take pride in the team that I played for um, 100%. Um, we didn't get the wins we wanted, but we went out there and fought every time. Um, just like I showed that I would go out there and fight at the East, West, and the Senior Bowl. And I take pride in those wins because when you're on losing teams, they try to um, they try to label you as a loser, and that's not the case at all. And I showed that I wasn't a loser at those games. Now I'm back in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Um, I was in Fort Worth, Texas, training at APEC with uh, Bobby Stroop. He's an East Texas guy, so we had that connection. Um, I've seen the, past, the work he did with Pat Mahomes, and, um, just being able to go up there and see Solomon Thomas, um, Dez Brown on a daily basis, seeing those guys and seeing the work they put in. They All, all three of those guys are first rounders, so it's like you see what it takes to get to that position. Hey, what numbers did you like from the combine or today? I mean, wh wh where have you tested well? Um, I felt like I tested well, honestly, everything. I could have tested better, of course. But like today, I had a 9-1 broad jump on um, a 307. That's pretty good. 7-5-7. Um, seven, seven. I don't know where that matches uh, in the in the L cone, but I don't know where that match, matches up. But that's pretty good in my eyes. Um, a 30-and-a-half vert, um, 27, on, 27 on bench. Those are all good numbers to me. Mm -hmm. So all those teams talk about being defensive tackle rather than yes, Yes, sir. On certain packages, I could probably go out there, but not too much. Is there certain teams that show more interest than the others? Um, I don't really know because it's like I've talked to all of the guys that come before me, and, and they tell me the people that talk to you the most probably not even going to be the people that draft you. Right. It's going to be the person in the back just sitting sitting low key. What was that combine like, though, the uh, psychological yeah. part of it and all that? Um, it wasn't too bad because I had went to two senior games. So they had got most of those tests out of the way with me. Uh, I was just I was just there basically doing more informal interviews and just I probably did one psych test. It wasn't too bad though. You got some personal workouts lined up and yes, I have a couple of them. Yeah. So what's the game plan between now and draft? Where are you gonna be on draft day? Um, draft day I'm gonna be back in Texas County. Um, I want to just be around family. Um, hopefully try to throw a little event for the city. That's it. Um, at the moment, it's just, I believe, um, the Colts, Texans, and Colts, Texans, and a couple more I have on my um, calendar.